dude, you made the right choice coming to me for help with this party. Actually, all I did was invite you. <laughs> well, put your mind at ease. I'm here to make sure your dinner party kicks Howard's dinner party's ass. Now, the first thing we need is a theme. I'm thinking, ah, turn of the century Moulin Rouge. <laughs> I'm thinking you need a testosterone patch. <laughs> Penny and I just want to do something low-key, you know, cocktails, light jazz music, hors d'oeuvres. So your theme is I saw a rerun of Mad Men and bought some crab puffs from Trader Joe's? <laughs> you hate to miss that. <clears throat> hey, where have you been? Oh, Leonard. You know, if I was prone to sarcasm, I'd say I was pulling off a major heist at the Museum of Laundry Baskets. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I meant, golly, Sheldon, you've been gone a long time. Yeah, well, I was waylaid by Penny, Bernadette, and Amy. They made me reveal confidential information about Howard's father. What information? I can't tell you that. I am bound by closet organizer, organizee, confidentiality. <laughs> Well, come on, we won't tell anyone. Sorry, badgering me won't work. What you should have said is, it's pointless to keep this a secret because Penny will tell us. Fine than that. All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, my goodness, everyone's on their game today. 